Hello, Serious Survivor here. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about how these cyber attacks can help usher in the NWO and the UN's takeover basically through their Agenda 21. For those that aren't familiar, Agenda 21 is the plan of action supposedly to achieve sustainable development and it was adopted by world leaders of the United Nations Conference on Environment and Development held in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil back in 1992. So this is not anything new. We've heard about Agenda 21 for a very long time now. And this is a push by the UN to have basically a global agenda enacted by the year 2030. But with the name of the agenda, Agenda 21, some may assume that that is targeting the year 2021. And for everything that we've seen this year, the increase in cyber attacks, it makes a lot of sense. Now with the increase in cyber attacks, the reason I say that these can lead to a takeover by the NWO, a world government, or the UN, is simply because they're growing in their range, they're growing in their destruction, and they're growing in the overall scope. A couple of years ago, we would hear about cyber attacks that would attack one or two major organizations. But now these cyber attacks are targeting everything from our food supply to nuclear power to personal accounts, to government accounts, and this is going on simultaneously. We know there's not one group out there doing this. This is multiple factions, wherever they may come from. A lot of people will point their fingers at Russia right now, but we also have to really think that that may not be the actual culprit. Now, I'm not saying they are or they're not, but what I'm saying is we don't know. All we do know is that all of our systems are constantly being attacked. There is not one day that goes by in the last several months that we don't hear about a new ransomware attack or hear about the effects of one that happened the day before and how it's growing. Now this is costing people a lot of money. It's costing governments a lot of money and it's very damaging to a lot of companies and it's even damaging on the personal aspect. With Cyber Polygon 2021 starting this Friday, this can be very concerning for us. And the reason is, is because this Cyber Polygon is going to be simulating a worldwide supply chain failure. And we just saw something similar to that with this last ransomware attack where it targeted multiple companies, thousands of companies throughout the entire world. These test runs that we've been seeing over the course of the year are leading to something big, and that something big is going to happen very soon. When Cyber Polygon 2021 kicks off and these simulations begin, I don't expect to see anything happen that day. What they're going to do is they're going to run their simulations. Then once these simulations are complete, they're going to analyze their data and they're going to see what the IT the security specialists did to stop the attacking teams in this event. And they're going to incorporate that into their attacks. I expect a very large cyber attack to be coming very soon that will first take down the supply chain to put people in a worldwide panic and then taking out the grid, not worldwide, but in isolated locations, most likely the large your urban areas because people in the rural areas it's so less populated in those areas that they're going to simply react you want these people to panic basically when they see the chaos that's caused in the larger cities and that will work they will do that and with the supply chain broken and the grid down there will be so many people out of food and of course out of power out of resources and some people will be out of hope and at that point the UN is going to step in as a force that will help or assist uh, the governments of the world to help rebuild these infrastructures. And what we very well will see is the implementation of worldwide law. And that's what the UN is pushing with all of the treaties that they've been pushing is worldwide disarmament. Think back to Katrina. The military went to people's homes in their houses and took their weapons. And we think that, you know, nobody's going to take our guns, but when 30 armed sh soldiers show up at your front door and you're there by yourself, there's not a whole lot you can do. Go down in a blaze of glory, I guess, or give up your guns. Now, I'm not an advocate of gun control. Everybody who watches my channel knows that. I love my firearms, and I'm sure that you do too. But we can sometimes find ourselves in situations we cannot win. And you have to ask yourself, what do you do then? Do I go down fighting and leave my family to defend themselves or what? And that's the big question that we face for situations like this. Now, that's the subject of something else, how we react when they come to, you know, basically take your guns. Uh, that's where people have to band together. But 
really what I'm concerned about is the way that they're going to step in and slowly, step by step, disarm not just the United States, but possibly the majority of industrialized nations. And from there, it will be very easy to enact what they call equality. They talk about social equality, and you know, we're all for everybody being treated equal, but that's not what's meant by this. What's meant by this is everyone in the world following the same laws, the same rules, the same regulations one world government and this is very possibly coming sooner than we expected we all know that something's coming and something big is coming and we can almost predict it with what we've been seeing we can't predict the date but we can tell what's happening that's why it's more important now than ever before to make sure your preps are everything you need. It's important now to stockpile everything you can, especially when it comes to food, water, power generation devices, firearms, ammunition, first aid. We need to stockpile and need to make sure we have everything to take care of our family for several years. Now that is beyond some people's means and I truly do understand that. But even if it is beyond their means, then these people can still do something. And that's the importance of us working together when this does begin. Well, it's already begun. We're in the middle of it and things are only getting worse. As far as it goes for me, I know exactly what I'm going to do right now. And that's every extra penny I have is going to stockpile more preparations for the future. And right now the preparations we need to focus on are our food, potable water, any medication or first aid supplies, that type of equipment that you may need and having electricity generating devices will also help whether it be a generator or solar power but right now we are facing one of the right now we are facing one of the worst situations the world has seen since world war ii and with the military actions that we're seeing in the seas with the military actions we're seeing overseas this is escalating day by day hour by hour minute by minute and it is going to get worse I'm not trying to fear monger, I'm just trying to state the truth of what we already know and what we already see. We're going to live stream this week, probably Tuesday night, and go a lot deeper into this and break down Agenda 21, break down the ATT, break down the other events that occur and, and see what we can take out of it and see how deep we can get into it and hopefully there will be something there that helps everybody. So thanks a lot for listening. I just wanted to... Uh, voice my opinion on some things that i truly believe are going to happen god bless everybody out there make sure your preps are in order make sure your house is in order thanks a lot and for now serious survivor out